Over 180,000 aspirants representing more than 200 schools from six countries in the largest student initiative in the GCC. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Neil Bubalam and I've been tasked with a new assignment this season, that of the Quizmaster on an exciting new edition of the Think and Learn Challenge powered by Baiju's The Learning App and brought to you by Lifeboy Active Silver. Okie dokie, we got six teams representing Kuwait and we're going to do a quick round of introductions. Team 1. I'm Abin from Grade 4, Indian Learner Son Academy, Kuwait. What's your name? My name is Sakina mm -hmm. from Grade 9, representing mm -hmm. Indian Learner Zone Academy, Kuwait. Well, it's good to have you here, Team 1. Thank you. And Team 2. Hello, I'm Nagni Har from Grade 4, India International School, Kuwait. What's your name? Sir? I am Mohammed Archal, Grade 8 from India International School, mm -hmm. Kuwait. Thank you, thank you. And Team 3, please introduce yourself. I'm Neil Kaila from Grade 5, Bahai Lalwatania Indian Private School, Kuwait. Neil, that's a very nice name. I'm Rohita Mahesh, belonging to Grade 9 of Bahai Lalwatania Indian Private School. Oh, nice. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Team 4. My name is Umar Muhammad. I'm from class 5, representing Smart English School, Kuwait. And your name? My name is Sohan Misabia, in class 8, representing Smart English School. Thank you, Team 4, for being here. <laughs> team 5. My name is Jelena Michelle Mathai, studying in grade 5, and I'm representing Indian English Academy School from Kuwait. My name is Hadid Manimaran, and I'm studying in grade 7, and I'm here representing the Indian English Academy School of Kuwait. Thank you for being here. <laughs> and moving on to Team 6. My name is Ken. I'm from grade 8, representing Indian Education School, Kuwait. Thank you. Round of applause for being here. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be hanging with you guys. And jump straight into round one. That is the Atlas round. To decide which team goes first, the swift select question. One question, one winner. The fastest team will get to choose a category to kickstart our first round. Your question is, what is 99 into 101? You punching it into your tabs? You gotta be fast, you gotta, you know, exercise the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. And your time is up. We now have the results. The fastest team for Swift Select question is Team 1. For, of course, 30 seconds. They took 30 seconds to punch it in and submit it. The correct answer is 9,999. Well done. Round of applause. Round of applause. Come on. Outstanding. Don't multiply. Use algebra. A minus B times A plus B equals A square minus B square. 99 times 101 can be expressed as 100 minus 1 times 100 plus 1, which is 100 square minus 1 square. Simple? So the answer is 10,000 minus 1, which is 9999. 9,999. Team 1, congratulations. You guys are the fastest ones over here. And therefore, you get to pick which one of the seven categories you wish. Okay, your categories are Mathematical Ability, Spatial Ability, Rebus, Logical Ability, Science, Memory, Intuition. What would you like? Rebus. And your selection is Rebus. <laughs> Of course, since Team 1 gets to choose Rebus, everybody gets to answer this question, right? So be alert and let's go into Rebus. Here we go. I'm going to show you an illustration on this screen and you have to tell me what you infer from it. So your time is up. And uh, we have the scores. Team 1 has answered this question correctly in the shortest span of time. And you get 30 points. Well done. And Team 5 gets in really close with 
24. <laughs> Team 3 comes in third with 10 points. Yay, wow. Outstanding. Okie dokie, moving on to the next one. Team 1, you get to choose once again which category you'd like. The categories are Mathematical Ability, Spatial Ability, Logical Ability, Science, Memory, Intuition. Logical Ability. Now this question is a mix of logic and math. Now, we're gonna pop the question up on your screen for you now. What is the area of the region represented by the question mark? Is it A, 32, B, 42, C, 48, or D, 52? Speed is always priority. All right, guys, your time is up. And the team to get it right really quickly is team six. You get 30 points. Congratulations. Nice, nice, nice. And right behind team six is team three with 20 points. And we have another team that's team four with 10 points. Well done, guys. Really sharp, really quick. No geometry, no hard calculations. Note here that the ratio of lengths of the red and the green rectangles is one is to three. Now this becomes a simple problem based on ratio and proportions. For the top row, 13 threes are 39 and similarly for the bottom, 16 threes are 48, which is the right answer. And now we're going to move on to team 6 to pick your next category. Now the categories you are left with are mathematical ability, spatial ability, science, memory, intuition. What do you choose? Mathematical ability. Mathematical ability. Okay, everyone on it? You heard it, you heard it, right? Let's hit them with the question, shall we? I set the time on my watch at 12 noon, but two hours later, it was showing the time as 1.59. If it keeps losing time at this rate, what time would it show at midnight? And time is up. Let's check our results, shall we? <laughs> and the quickest for mathematical ability is Team 5. Yay! With 30 points. Now, up close is Team 3. You get 20 points. Well done, well done. And right behind them is Team 2 with 10 points. Nice, nice. Team 2 not looking very happy. But 10 points are better than no points. Now we see that for every two hours, the clock loses one minute. So by midnight, starting from 12 noon, it would lose six minutes. And that is the correct answer, which is option B. Now we're halfway through this round. We're gonna take a really quick break. Stay tuned and we shall come back and continue this round. And welcome back to the second season of the Think and Learn Challenge powered by Byju's The Learning App and brought to you by Lifeboy Active Silver. And before we get into the second half of this round, we're going to give you the scores as they are right now. And leading the pack so far is Team 5 and Team 3, both at 50 points each. Well done. Awesome. Really, really well. And right behind them are Team 6 and 1, with 30 points each. Nice, nice. And Team 4 and 2 are right behind them with 10 points. Now let's swiftly jump into the remainder of this round. Team 5, I'm going to hit you with the categories that are left in the Atlas round. What you have is Spatial Ability, Science, Memory, Intuition. You want memory. For the memory round, it is going to be a fill in the blank type of question. I'm going to show you six images. What you got to do is observe them, remember them, and recollect them. Yes? Yes? 
Your question is, which of the clocks was not featured in the sequence earlier? And your time is up, no pun intended. Now let's see our results. The first person to get it right is Team 2. Yay! Team 2, 30 points. Next is Team 5 with 20 points. And lastly, we got Team 6 with 10 points. The correct answer, of course, is C. As you can see. Team 2, lucky, lucky, lucky. Now you get to choose the next category. And what we're left with is spatial ability, science, intuition. Mm, what do you want? What do you want? Spatial reasoning. Spatial reasoning? Okay, Team 2 and the rest of you, we're going to see how your sense of direction really is and how quick you can really think. All right, you ready for the next question? On your screen right now, if wheel A moves clockwise, how many wheels move anti-clockwise? Your options are A, three wheels, B, four wheels, C, five, or D, two wheels. Guys, 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 your time is up right now. And uh, this just in, only one team has entered the right answer. And that team is Team 4! What? what? That's mad! I think this is the first time only one team has got it right. And you get uh, how many million points? <laughs> you get 30 points. <laughs> well, well done. Congratulations. The correct answer is C. Keep your imaginary finger on A and move along the string. Observe how you will be pushing the other wheels and count as you go. B anti-clockwise, so 1. C anti-clockwise, so 2. D clockwise. E anti-clockwise again, so 3. F clockwise. G and H anti-clockwise. So the number of wheels turning anti-clockwise is 5, which is option C. So we're at the last question of this round, and this question is the Life Boy Active Silver question. Woohoo! Now, Team Four, your options are science or intuition. We choose intuition. Intuition. Okay, here we go. Your question is a fill-in-the-blank type of question, and the question is: What is the number of line segments that are shown in the figure? What you got to do is tell me how many lines are there in this image. And don't get too stressed. There's about a 5% plus or minus on the answer. So you don't have to get it bang on. And your time is up. Now this is really exciting, guys, because the team that got it right, like bang on right, <laughs> no 5% upar niche, no 2% upar niche, is team three. You're like, what? Well, I just guessed it. I didn't even count. Okay, so team three, you get 30 points. Outstanding. What is the answer? 35. And right behind them is team five and team six, who have both entered in 30. Wow, well done. You guys didn't copy, did you? Okay, cool, 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 cool. That was an outstanding first round. We're gonna take a really tiny break and come back with the score, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the final round of this episode on the second season of the Think and Learn Challenge, powered by Byju's The Learning App and brought to you by Lifeboy Active Silver. And before we jump into our second round, here are the scores thus far. Team 5 is at 90 points. Woo! Next up is Team 3 at 80 points. Nice. Team 6 is at 50 points. And Team 2 and Team 4 are at 40 points. Nice. 
And team one is at 30 points. Okay, our next round is called the Hercules round. And just as the name suggests, our teams will get to display their might and agility with this buzzer round. Now, if you remember the animated classic Hercules, Hercules says, how am I supposed to prove myself if nobody will give me a chance? Or something like that. <laughs> well, here's your chance. So all the best teams, and let's jump right into it. And here are the rules. Okay, guys, it's the buzzer round, so you gotta be really quick to hit the buzzer, okay? Your first question of the Hercules buzzer round is a fill in the blank type of question. And either you can be like everybody else and count, or be really, really smart and crafty and think out of the box. And can we pop the image up and then I will follow up with a question. What is the volume of the given solid shape if the volume of one cube is one cubic centimeter? Team two. Wow, you hit the buzzer first. What is the answer? Two into L. Huh? Into uh, B into height. Team two, though you were really quick at it, that is the incorrect answer because we were asking for a specific number as the answer and not the formula. Cool? Moving on to the second question of the buzzer round. And let's have the question on the screen, please. If seven pens cost four rupees 20 paisa, what is the cost of three pens? Team four has hit the buzzer first. Team four, what is your answer? Uh, rupees 1.8. One, zero. 1 Rupees 1.80 is the correct answer. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the right answer. Well done, well done. Round of applause, round of applause. Now, my question is, what is the name of the eclipse when the sun is between the moon and the earth? Team two, you hit the buzzer first. What is your answer? Solar eclipse. Solar eclipse? Does anybody have anything else to say? It's no. eclipse. It's not possible? It is. And why is that? It's not possible. It's the moon can't come. Because the sun can't come between the moon and the earth, man. It is the wrong answer. Team two. Yes, you hit the buzzer really quick, but that is incorrect because it was a sneaky, tricky question. Next question, next question, which I don't know, maybe a trick question, maybe an original question. Let's see. What is the largest organ in the human body? Team one, you hit the buzzer first. What is your answer? Liver. The liver? Yes. Does anybody else have anything to say? Yes. It's the skin. It is the skin. Although the laws of this round is that whoever hits the buzzer first gets to answer and the liver is the wrong answer. The next question of our buzzer round Hercules category is... Now you gotta think, think, think for this one really rapidly. Your question is... 24 square tiles are used to cover a floor of dimensions 8 by 12. What is the side length of each square? And team four, hit the buzzer. Team four, what is your answer? Four tiles. Four? Tiles. Four tiles. Dung, 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 dung. It is incorrect. The correct answer is two. Okay, hustlers, you gotta think like a hustler because this is a proper hustling kind of question. Okay, now pay attention. I'm gonna say this only once. All right? The question is a fill in the blank type of question. And the question is, this. A dealer buys an article for $7, sells it for $8, buys it back for $9 and sells it again for $10. What is the net profit or loss that he'd get? Team 5, you hit the buzzer. What is your answer? He doesn't have any profit or loss. He doesn't have any profit or loss. Well, the correct answer is $2 of profit. Tung, tung, tung. Two dollars. So with the close of that round, we have the final scores of the episode. And here they are. Team one and two at 20 points. Not bad. Very good. 20 is better than zero. And team six is at 50 points.
80 points. What? Stand off. So obviously, to find the winner of this episode, we're going to have to go in for a tiebreaker. And your tiebreaker question is... Dry ice is solid dash. Carbon dioxide. Oh, that was really quick. And the right answer. Awesome, awesome. And with that, we have a final winner for this episode. Team 5 remains at 80 points, while Team 3 races ahead with another 30 points to finish at 110. Outstanding. Right. <laughs> team 3, you are the winner for this episode. Well done. Now, Team 4 gets a year-long subscription to the Baiju's learning app. Team 4, come on up and grab all of your really big checks. And our first runner-up for this episode is Team 5, and they get $500! Okay, congratulations. And the winner of this episode is Team 3, and they win themselves $1,000. Now you're going to represent Kuwait and move on to the finals. So well done, guys. Woohoo! Hello, everybody at home. I'm really smart. <laughs> and with that, this is me, Neil Bhopalam, saying farewell. I'm going to see you next week with another exciting episode of the second season of the Think and Learn Challenge, powered by Baiju's The Learning App, and brought to you by Lifeboy, Active Silver. Well done, guys. Well done. Thank you.